So, back at Los Angeles Convention Center again, and this time the event is LA Comic Con. There's a batch pickup over here too. Yes, this was the same trip to Anime Expo from a few months ago. Check out the video if you have not checked out the four previous ones. Unlike the last time we visited, this road used to be closed for events from Anime Expo. But this, for this case, it's now open for all cars. Here's the badge pickup that attendees are supposed to get. Normally it's not crowded on Fridays due to some other people that are going to school or have other studies. It feels slightly different from what I've seen before. Not a lot of areas outside to do, but only the indoors. Some few people waiting in line right now. So it may differ depending on how the event runs. All right, everything is started already just the beginning. Well, the event is not ready just yet. We're just simply picking up the badge. That's all we need. This is the weekend LA Comic Con badge. How to pick up the lanyards. Very simple lanyards. Everything right now is just under setup here. Just, they're not ready. We just simply have to exit out of this lobby. All the people as usual. There are multiple entrances here. We got the LA Comic Con ADA entrance here. And the other one is gonna be some tile like the other entrance across the other side. Now we'll just simply just hang around outside for a bit. For simplicity, we're just lining up near one of the entrances into the LA Comic Con. Just opens until around 11 a.m. But only in the lobby section. All the exhibits will open at 1 p.m. Security now is just a bit atrociously slow due to back checks. All right, so basically done at the security checkpoint. And the layout feels a lot different, unlike the last time visited to Anime Expo. Here's where I see something in front, which is to scan the QR code using this app. The badge that I found is actually the cosplay badge. Zip Hall does not actually open until around 1 p.m. On each place is a little different. This is the registration only for the exhibitors, press, industry, friends, and family. For the LA Comic Con merch, you go to the booth number 665. This hallway redirects to the autographs, horror halls, photo ops, etc., which is to this upstairs. For now, I will come back to this later until this event starts at 1 p.m. Feels like a cafeteria again, which is what I ex already explored. Oh, I can just simply re resume going downstairs. Only slight difference between this line is that it's basically a snake line. So I guess we'll have to wait for another two hours while waiting. Okay, so it's around 12.10 here, and there's some people and staff just taking pictures and doing some little filming. This right now is a very crowded. There's a camera and say of the recording for all the LA Comic Con participants. Look at all the crowd of fans around here. Just a lot of people waiting for this to open. are now open, heading up to the escalator right now. Here we are, welcome to LA Comic Con. It's basically one of the another exhibit halls. So most of it is just the central area inside the ISO 1000. This is where a lot of merch shops go. Oh, we got a mascot inside this uh, convention. Welcome 
friends. Never realized there's strawberry shortcake video playing in the background. So the sections are divided into different categories. The floor or the rug is just a lot different. And the main stage is just the main stage. Every time I see something in the middle, I always think of a lot of Sonic stuff. And yes, there are some of the Sonic stuffs that they have. Surprisingly, they're a bit expensive here, except it's buy three, get one free. They got some God Mode Infinite. Well, the majority of them are all Sonic plushies within this section. Glad they organized all the plushies carefully based on the series. Halloween decorated, well, not really. It's just a creepy pasta of Tails EXE and Sonic EXE. That was just the announcer for now. I think I remember seeing this vendor, Cole Nut Productions. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I encountered the same vendor from the previous convention called Ontario Comic Con Revolution in 2023. Yes, this is where I last won a prize from them. There are a few of the anime vendors across this area. Back to the Future, snap a photo with the iconic time machine from Back to the Future. Here's that vehicle from the future. Well, in this case, just simply called DeLorean. Generally speaking, rooms have been expanded significantly a lot across this area than what it used to be in Anime Expo. There's not a lot of people during Fridays. It's because of people that have either some of the busy schedules. So maybe I can do a tour across it. So I'll have to start from the very beginning all the way to the end, but I need to be in a suitable spot to begin with. I would first have to go all the way back to the very first ISO. ISO 200, apparently there's a badge to earn. Apparently the issue with the QR code is that it requires two QR codes. Each QR code is located near the entrance of each exhibit hall. For whatever reason, the phone is not letting me scan this QR code to try to earn this badge. So I'm not sure why it didn't work on me. All right, I'm just gonna simply resume the tour. So I'll have to do one clip at a time each. While I was touring around, I noticed there's another badge to earn. This one is just basically, it's a time like a, a superhero revolving around the earth. The main stage has been captured, but I need the gaming stage for this. Even though there's music playing in the background due to a stage performance, there are controllable robots that are RC controlled. There's Wally right there and I don't know what the other one's called. <laughs> Wally. Oh there's a cockroach on him. There's a cockroach. Well it's not a real cockroach. Yeah. That is Wally. That robot again. Okay. Awesome. Even during the tour I somehow encountered two voice actors. Former ones. Pete Kappa who voices Silver. Other one's gonna be Scott Drader who voices Knuckles. Oh, I even have the Team Sonic with Sonic Tails and Knuckles. I hope I'm concentrating on what I'm focusing on. But actually, there's four characters. Five, actually. Sonic, Tails, Amy, <laughs> far background, and Knuckles. And even Dr. Ivo Robotnik. All right, so I'm done with all the tour across this exhibit hall. It went pretty long as I Expected. It has a lot of labels from 200 to 2400. I believe this is going to be the biggest tour vlog I will ever post. I'm just going to dissect everything of what I went over. Well, look at this exhibit of all these artifacts yes. Yes. of yes. dinosaurs from a while back. The heavily armored Iron Man suit from one of the Marvel videos, as well as Ant Man and Captain America. Ancient historic artifacts. I think I seen this vendor around here. That's Verizon again. All right, so I completed the survey and this little setup with Verizon. Also, I didn't register for Verizon, just not sure if I wanted to decide just yet, but at least I got this little gift card from them or a pop figure. Let's just proceed in just checking random things around here. Uh, I see some creators uh, around here, which I remember recognizing from Anime Fire before. There's Smith. Didn't got a chance to tour these areas. This one is just, uh, I can't even tell what they look like. Literally controllable robots just on the show displaying. 
again, this is twice the amount of time I'm wasting just because I had to go over some of the parts. There's VI Tech again with all these amazing arts. That vehicle is pretty much on a top level. It looks like a Tesla Ferrari style. Oh, it is a brand, Tesla. Looks more like a Ferrari-based Tesla. Official booth of Wiz... I don't know how to say that, but I encountered the same artist from a while back. Right, uh, some extra props right there. It looks more like a living room, a cup of tea. Huh. It feels very classic, like an apartment style. SDSA Set Decorators Society of America, an international organization. It's been almost an hour and a half since I'm inside of this exit hall, but I still gotta try to get everything summarized if I can. Throwback Therapy, the same vendor from multiple conventions. This uh, little trailer has a room that looks very infinite. There are circuit vendors, but either of them somehow already existed, such as the one that has Team Sonic over here. I've seen my camera away, but it does appear that this is the same vendor that I encountered. I remember encountering this same video game vendor that sells some of the collectibles, video games, and other items. There's Pixel Empire, which is the same vendor from multiple conventions a while ago. There's a mystery van right there, which features Scooby-Doo characters. Look at these robots. <laughs> I just realized they're all transformers. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, Mick Chong. What's wrong? Happy birthday. So if anyone's looking to buy them, we've got a discount on all of them right now. This is his debut in public. First time he's been shown in public today. He's been online. Yeah. This is incredible. Looks like there's boogie pins coming to Comic Con here. Look at these bull rides right there. You gotta hang on to them. All the lightsabers that they're selling here. This one has a mobile container right there is selling some few merches. Here are some more additional toy figures. Most of them are Legos and some of them are just slight knockoff versions of Sonic stuff. Over here. PS5 controllers. They have custom GameCubes, Nintendo Switch controllers, and even Xbox One controllers. Or actually they call it the Xbox Series controller. Just refer these as an Xbox Series controller. Lego stuff, lots of Sonic figures. Some of them are just handmade. Here's Anime Los Angeles 20. That's the same vendor that I encounter from multiple places. And yes, this is the venue that I mainly attend. And almost every year. I mean, every single year, just not almost. 3D printed masks, <laughs> and almost all. Uh, this used to be the vendor I encountered a lot of times. Same type of vendor, which is convention exclusive. T Turtle Convention Exclusives. Yeah, that's the one I'm referring to. It's literally the title itself. Lots of pop figures, and some of them I already own, except for Super Sonic. Some of them are just different types of Sonic. There is just for the VIPs. Some of the spaces differ just because of these areas that some vendors may occupy. Ooh, I just didn't realize there's another QR code to earn this badge. It's called Super Plastic. Ah, the second badge is now unlocked. Just simply one. It's called Super Plastic. This vendor has a lot of VCRs, some traditional TVs that they have. They're playing Digimon right there. Unlike other modern TVs, these VCRs are just very hard to focus on with a camera. This vendor has a lot of mystery boxes, uh, which you can win a free styling box. Uh, just simply enter 
won the contest. Flexible Lego bricks. <laughs> Never seen these types before. Okay, there's a second pixel empire vendor right there. Not sure where that comes from. On the other side, there's the Japan Tour Company, which I encountered from Anime Riverside. More video game vendors. Can't even read the whole vendor's name. I see an Asian boba girl around here, some other conventions. Wow, that looks too realistic to see this snake that just crawled out from the ground. So that's just the middle itself, which I've already showcased that from a while ago. Ooh, there's a cart of LA Comic Con merch. Wow. Portable merch. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hey, someone missed another DeLorean inside of this area. Not really sure how anyone would drive this DeLorean along with any other accessories. Very complex here. Lots of buttons. Uh, something to fidget, but I'm just not gonna touch it. So many buttons to press, but not really. Some additional automotive vehicles within this Comic Con industry. The interface feels very different inside this Kia vehicle. You see me, but I'm wearing a mask. I'm still present around. So many iconic photos to take a picture across this area. Kind of gets a little crowded here, although not very crowded on Fridays. The reverse is that due to LA traffic every Friday, it's pretty much an extremely crowded spot. There's another vendor, which is manual stickers. They're the same ones I kind of from previous conventions. Zad Maria. There's so many vendors around this area, too many of them. Background reference and the music reminds me of GTA 5. Some more props that they have so far. Here's some more neat organizational stuff here. Lots of comics. As of now, I just really scroll through almost as much as I could. But by either tomorrow or the day after, I'll try to explore even more stuff. Here's the artist alley right there. There's a lot of artists around here, but I'll just keep my camera straightforward. It's just not at them. Here's another badge, which is the artist alley badge. And it should appear. Yeah, the artist. Even though this is a log work with all these tour videos inside this artist alley, the best part is that they do have food trucks, which is the outside part. See what the food truck has to offer. So here it is. This is the area that I've never been to. It's just some kind of like a little outdoor uh, staff only section. I don't see anything that are one of my favorites, but I'll see if I can get at least one try by tasting each of those common foods. Oh man, these prices, all these foods are a bit overpriced here. There are burger food trucks here. Salt and pepper truck, barbecue, nasi. I don't know what that name is since people are covering up the area too much. So this is what the entire place looks like in this area, which I've never been to before throughout the time. This food truck is overpriced, <laughs> too much money. Ironically, every food truck that I see have very overpriced items that can be very difficult to buy. After exploring every of those food trucks, yeah, majority of them are overpriced, except for this little food truck right there. Seems that they have original beauty right there for $15 too. Uh, yes, I'll take that order. It's the OG beauty right there. Just the original burger. Well, just very unique. And these are the fries too. First things first is to simply try out this burger. Well, slightly messy, but let's give it a shot. Mmm, this burger is uh, very flavorable, unlike others. All right, so yeah, just a random phone call here. But despite this, this burger itself tastes super good, as well as that OG drink, the Coca-Cola. I haven't tried the OG french fries. Let's see if I can try once again. Mmm. Interesting. This is pretty much the most unique burger I've ever tasted. I love it. Now I'm just going to finish the rest. All right, just uh, had a little break here, but the fries, I did try them and it tastes pretty good. Smooth French fries. Awesome. All right, just got back from my break already after finishing all the food. 
So now let's get into what the artist Sally has to offer. There is a screaming Kirby right there, or should I say Kirby just simply inhaling. I'm seeing similar artists here around this area. Just gonna check more. Same why so chillious with this vendor of all the items. Ah, I remember this artist that sells these types of animal calendars before. That's an artist that I recognize from previous conventions selling some Sonic stuff here. So just some of them are a few. Tuffy Rabbit sells some uh, Sonic stuff here, which I didn't even realize that they had it. This artist has Shadow and Chow stickers right in the middle. There are some artists that I recognize from previous conventions. Just gonna still browse around for more. I don't know if I remember making a purchase out of that sticker of one of the Sonic stuff here, but I'm guessing I'll make at least one type of purchase. Here's at least one purchase of a tail sticker for just simply three dollars. Looks like I got the same artist again. Hi. How's it going so far? Good on yourself? It's going good. Nice to see you again. Yeah. It's actually it's actually my first time here at LA Comic Con. Even though I've been to other Comic Con Revolution places. Yeah. I'm glad we meet. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Nice to see you, you too. All right. Ah, uh, there are more robots right here, just to be controlling them. Let's see what other places to explore around this little area. It looks like I met the same artist here, but as of now, this artist is not currently present at the moment. Just in case I've seen some of the Sonic artists around this area, although some of the appearance may not be very appealing to me. It looks like I remembered this artist here that I purchased from a while back. Some of the roles don't have anything that I like here. Just gonna continue browsing on. All right, just got back to the same badge already, and at least they now got a working QR code here. So I'm able to retrieve this badge already. This is called the welcome badge. I just need another welcome badge somewhere around this convention. Okay, I guess that should be all for this artist alley here. Now I'm just gonna have to explore the ones that I never explored before. It's just outside of this exhibit hall here. I'm still in the convention center, but I'm just gonna have to go all the way to the other side. There is no access for the Kentia Hall because nothing inside is appealing. Right now it's around 5.14 p.m. I still got like around a few hours left here which holds at 8 p.m. There's another octopus badge here, which is at the front entrance, but I got... I guess the thing didn't work. I don't know how. That's weird. Oh, wait. There's like two of them. One right there and the other one on the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah. At the entrance, you said? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. There's another one on the other side. There's two actually. One right there, other one right there. But let's see. Oh, it worked now. Yeah. You were right and scanned the entrance QR codes for here and here. So, yeah, there's two of them near the entrances. That gave me the hint. To get to the other side of the convention, we just had to go into this floor here and then head straight to where the signs is telling us to go to this section. Okay, so this is where I last stopped. So autographs, anime, photo ops, horror hall, and everything. So I'm just gonna do a walk and tour, but I remember doing this recording a while back, but I guess I'll have to do a rerun with this tour vlog. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much a long recording across this area. The upstairs is not accessible, but only this hallway right there is accessible. There are two ways to get in. One, you can go into this area straight away, or two, take the ride to the Evan McGregor Hayden Christie. I don't know how to say their name. Topic, and we'll ask you a question. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Let me think. I'm gonna do... Back to the Future for 500. Back to the Future? Yeah, right. Back to the Future, let's go. And you're already standing right where you need to be, and that's perfect. Welcome back to Knowledge Official, where you can pay to be knowledgeable. Our next contestant is... Uh, Kai. Hey, let's have you start by getting the top of the I'm gonna do Back to the Future for $5. Back to the Future for five. Here's your $5 question. During the intro of the movie, we see a dog bowl. What name appears in the bowl? Uh... Marky? That is incorrect. The correct answer is Einstein. Einstein. Okay. Would you like to 
like to try again? You can yes. try the same topic, you just have to pick a different price. I'm going to say, I don't know, 1970. That is the correct. correct answer is 1955. Oh my god. Well, thank you for your time. Oh, thank you so much for your time. To rewatch the movie. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that random <laughs> event that happened in the middle. Let's just head straight to the big ISIL. Exhibit hall number two. This entire area. And this is also very big to tour around, so I may have to do a quick recording of it. But the first things first is to earn this badge that I found. Alright, unlock the horror badge. Now I can just do the rest of the tour throughout the whole event. So I'll be back for a while. Uh, another badge right there while I was in the middle of recording the tour vlog. So here it is. This looks... Yeah, it looks like I've already unlocked the artist's badge. So yeah. That's what I got. Let's put this aside for now in this second exhibit hall and then just focus on this artist alley right there, the second one. Okay, so after browsing around the second artist alley, I don't think there's anything else to see around within this place. But let me see if I can just still continue on touring around this place. Ah, that's the same vendor that I encountered, the uh, waifu cups. And this is the one that I've already won from the past convention. By the way, I remember winning this cup at Anime Los Angeles 2024. <laughs> nice. I still kept it to this day. It just rips, the plastic wrapper just rips straight from it. Just like yeah, and then uh, they gave me the free cup. Nice. So yeah. Good. All right, so let's see if I can try something new. Oh, that's an upgrade. Let's see how this tastes. Yeah, since I have a mask on, I'm just going to temporarily remove it off screen. And then give it a try. <laughs> tastes good. Tastes good? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I'll try the other ones. Yeah, Okay, I'm actually seeing another one right there. There are actually two vendors that have wild bills. So yeah, just to make it a little bit more convenient for them. But anyways, let's try the Sakura Splash. You want me to record you trying it? I can record you trying it. Yeah. Yeah? Alright, just gonna have to take a second take of this. This one is called the Sakura... Yep, Sakura Splash. Okay, Sakura Splash. Let's see how this tastes. This is delicious. <laughs> Love it. So yeah, that was the second take. The first two are just not uh, worth recording because of recording errors. At least to my extent, it did soften my sore throat. Okay, a caffeine-free drink. Let's see. Let's see how this tastes. Yeah, it's a 24 ounce cup, eight ounces of water. Mm. So just okay. That's a. Yeah. Last but not least, this drink. It's called Anime Girl by GG Caffeine Free. I'll grab you one from the others. And you know what's right here? Hang out right here. This is delicious. Yeah, well, caffeine free, of course. Next time, I'll bring my own bottle that I got from Waifu Cups. It is still the same thing as you've seen. The entire amount of computers are all gaming computers for the gaming stage. So everything is just absolute gaming PCs. Everything. We're still given enough time here since the events on Friday started very late. For now, let me try to resume the tour as fast as I can. There is more strange encounters with this badge. This one is the Milk Cup badge in yeah, the Women's Series. But overall, let's see if I can scan this. Yeah, this took me a while to figure out here, so I just had to rotate the phone a bit just to scan it correctly. So here it is. That's the Milk Cup badge that I've gotten. Thanks. Okay, so I'm very much interrupted by other new events that I've never seen before, so here it is. I'm in this LA Comic Con gaming stage. Look at that. I guess i would never seen this before. It looks more like a haunted house, but unfortunately there's a lot of people just simply waiting in line here, 
So there's simply no point of doing it, but not sure how much it's gonna be for this place. There's another badge right there. It's called the Gamer. Let's see. Yep. It's unlocked. The Gamer is now unlocked. All I need is the champion, the panelist, and the traveler. Let's just uh, take a quick restroom break here. Uh, this is getting pretty serious of me not using it. Just uh, done with the uh, restroom here, so I'm just gonna have to resume <laughs> tour vlogging. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much almost all the tour inside the second exhibit hall. So, of course, yeah, I didn't get 100% all of them. Just gonna have to see what I can do. Just do a regular tour with the main episode for now. This is just the autograph section, which doesn't have a lot of voice actors here. Uh, although there's some instances. So just one signature of Erica who voices plays in Team Sonic Racing. So of course there are some different voice actors from the other side of the autograph room which I must have passed by, of course. But I'm not sure if I'm able to get every photos here since I still got very limited time to roam around. This right there is another food truck over here. I guess no one tells me that there's another food truck with Okomo Kitchen, which I wasn't even expecting. Probably next time I'll buy it for tomorrow because I've already picked up at least one food truck here. Here's the issue. They no longer have bento boxes, but they do offer simple plates. Maybe one day I'll try new recipes and new foods. Look at all these military vehicles here. The boats. Um, some other trailers, that truck, the U.S. Army. In some cases, I may not be able to get everything done here, so by tomorrow, I will have to visit in this exhibit hall as one of the alternate entrances. So I will have to get into that at some point. Look at these uh, creatures here. The Halloween decoration, the statue, almost everything. This van from Scooby-Doo is called the Mystery Machine or sometimes I just informally call it the mystery van. There's another van from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It looks like a haunted ice cream shop. That looks innocent, but very creepy. So apparently I consumed like two battery packs for my vlogging camera, so I may not be able to record everything. However, I will try to get this on the second part of my vlog episode. So maybe if I were to combine either one or just have it separate, then maybe. Just randomly bumps into another one. Pixel Empire number three. Three vendors already. Uh oh, someone lost their lanyard on the floor. Center area here, this one is Tokyo Indie Games, and there's another vehicle right there, Honda. All right, so for this one, we're just going to simply head into the main autograph room. So this is where exactly where I passed by. So this location is the authentication autograph, just to get this authenticated. So in this area, it's just basically additional voice actors here across this area, although there's not that much to see here. Nothing particular that I like inside of this uh, other voice actor's room. By all means, I don't see anything particular that I like here, so I'm just gonna have to move forward from that. By the way, I forgot to mention this. With the Erica Linebex holograph of Omochao and Blaze, it's authenticated already. I'm not sure what the upstairs takes me to this area, besides uh, showing off this photo ops, which there's no photos though. In a large convention like this, this is very difficult to navigate around of what I wanna see. This room is just pretty new here. I'm not sure what they're lining up here for. Seems that what they said is that they're just lining up for the Back to the Future line. Well, you need gold tickets for this. Not into Back to the Future stuff here, although there is sometimes like a large, big assembly line. This place has additional rooms, such as panels. And so far, there isn't that much to assess around here. Again, it can be a little bit too much for me to try to vlog everything. Even more additional rooms here, and some of them are pretty much very underutilized. Another simple pan room inside LA Comic Con, although I kind of miss out some of the schedules. Escalators are now dead here. Just won't gotta rely on using the stairs. All right, just back at the one day exhibit halls here. Just uh, oh, got the, the traveler's no, badge. I... Super plastic can be somewhere that where I last seen before. So I got, just got to check. For this one, I believe I've already scanned the super plastic badge onto one of my badges. So I only got one 
Batraf, the panelist. Okay, so right now I'm just at the next floor here. Normally I never visit this area since my last trip to Anime Expo, but this is the last location to where this last badge is. So all the way right there is a badge I'm just gonna collect. Yeah, first time seeing this. That's a lot of view across people here. And I love how they're simply hanging around and just dancing a lot. So yeah, love it. Almost there. Just gotta reach for this final part. This one. Here's the last badge. This is the panel's room badge. So yeah, that's the final one to scan here. So I guess I'll pull out my phone to do this. All right. LA Comic Con champion completed all the scavenger hunt events. So yeah, I love the mobile version of the scavenger hunt. Now I'm just gonna head back down to the info booth and then ask for the reward. Pretty sure right now it feels very dark here to this event. Somewhere almost six to seven. Uh, you gotta be extra careful when moving into the downstairs. The final destination is the info booth. Got all the badges. Yep, <laughs> that's the pin <laughs> as a reward. Excellent. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thanks for the poster. No problem. Oh, you're taking it. Okay. Extra vlog here. So I'm recording only on my phone here because I don't have enough batteries for my vlog camera. Let's see how this experiment goes uh, when entering into this house. Yeah, well, unfortunately, this requires some type of an app for me to use. But overall, I'm just gonna have to experience what I'm about to do. All right, so here it comes. There's a creature! <laughs> yep. oh. oh my goodness. Yeah. Here it comes. What? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Gotta move slowly. It is like a best haunted house ever. What is that? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. There. <laughs> oh. The toy executionist <laughs> took out Woody. Oh, man. Toy Story reference. Look at this. Goodness, this is the creepiest thing ever. Yeah. What is this? What the? There's a bunch of dolls. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> that thing is looking at me like hell. What happened to the factory? It's like dead meats. God. Oh my goodness, that looks like Luigi, or actually in reality, a Ouija fan. Oh, <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that's just the photo op for 
this ridiculous clown. So yeah, that's the end of the stage here. Some little fun entertainment. Well, just some props. All right, got this photo already. But overall, that's just basically it for this area. I guess there's no more lines here because time is about the essence. They have merches too as well for everything. That's all for this extra vlog inside this uh, haunted, I don't know what that thing's called, but everything is pretty much the most haunted thing I've ever seen. Thanks. Okay, so apparently that's just all for this entire video of me vlogging around the first day of LA Comic Con. I'll be making a part two video for this soon and then trying to go over some of the remaining ones that I have not shown. So far, if you do enjoy it, please consider following me on other social media platforms and my about page. Unfortunately, I cannot vlog further due to me running out of batteries very quickly, all because of that tour vlog. So that's basically all to it. Of course, I did attach this badge into my weekend's badge. So of course, that's all. Or just a pin, of course. This is Vlogger LTF. Stay tuned for the second part.